Welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Mason, and today we're doing a walk around video on this 2017 Kia Carnival Platinum. Now, what we'll do is run through the condition on the outside of the car, I'll try to point out as much as I can, as well as some of the features that does come in the Platinum model of this vehicle. Now, starting off on that front end, got that newer uh, Kia Carnival look. So, this has a tiger nose front grille. Very cool effect, does break it up from your standard boring front grilles. Now in the middle of that front grille is a forward facing camera that is part of the 360 camera system in this vehicle. So being such a large vehicle, it's going to help park and maneuver the car. Now there are three, uh, sorry, four uh, color match parking sensors along the front of the vehicle. Again, it's going to help maneuver a car like this. The headlights are very long, big headlights. They do have your daytime running lamp through the middle, um, the pro uh, indicators and a projector globe for that really nice clear cut line of light. Down the bottom is fog lamp fitment and also this little thing which is on either side that is actually your headlight washers and they're going to keep these big headlights nice and clean especially on those um, dirty roads. Now coming across the side of the vehicle, taking a look at these rims, you've got these very chromey 2000s um, Kia rims, they actually present really well. Now this particular rim has had a little bit of a gutter gash just on the very corner there, very very minimal, nothing too significant but you can see how chromey those rims are and how much they reflect. Um, they are very clean and present quite well and you've got lots of tread on these tyres. Uh, now above that on the quarter panel there is a very minor superficial scratch here, uh, another one just at the top here and also just a few minor ones there so nothing too major but I would, thought I would point those out for you just so you are aware. Now coming across the side of the car, there are color match side mirrors and door handles on this vehicle. So again, it blends in quite nicely to the car itself. And on the side here is that high mounted uh, indicator, which again, elevates the indicator, but also um, clears up the quarter panel. Now at the bottom of this side mirror is a camera just there. So that is all again, part of that 360 system. There's cameras under each one of the side mirrors and also the boot and the front of the car. Now driver's side door is in very good nick. And we'll also see that the front window is a little bit lighter than the back window. That is because the back windows have privacy glass on there, not actual tinting. So I would highly recommend you talk to us about our tinting options because there is a lot of benefit in that. Now, on the door, you, there is a button that is part of the keyless entry system. So I've got the keys in my pocket. Um, as long as I'm within proximity, that's going to lock and unlock when I press that button. And the side mirrors are also going to fold in just to notify you that it is locked, but also to protect the side mirrors from getting damaged. Now having a look inside the car, being the Platinum model they do come with the full leather seats and you do also get this dual tone beige and brown, uh, beige and black leather or grey leather. Now the seats also present in good nick, there are very minor creasing just on this bolster here but the rest of the seats are in good condition and the backrest, headrest all in very good nick, no stains or marks or damage which you can generally see in used cars and on leather so it's good to see that these have been looked after really well. There are also electric seat controls so forward and back, up and down. This is for the lean on the back and this is for the lumbar support located in the back support. You also get genuine Kia Carnival carpet mats which we have all already gone through the effort of fitting out for you. Uh, if you don't know how complicated these are, they're very complicated, it's like a puzzle, but we've done it for you because we care about our customers. And down here is our a scuff plate as well that is going to keep the paintwork nice and clean and it's going to prevent it from getting damaged especially when people get in and out of the vehicle door card is also in pretty good nick there's a little bit of dust and dirt here and there but again it is a used vehicle it is what you'd expect but pretty clean now on the rear passenger door these are long sliding doors just under that actual handle there is a little bit of a fading mark there not sure why that's there probably get buffed out if the car goes through the workshop but just so you are aware that this mark is there but you can't really notice it and you've got very minimal scratching just on the actual door itself uh, along the edge side here um, and another one just on this quarter panel here but I will point that out in a minute but these doors are going to fully open up they are fully electric doors so you just have to pull the latch and it's going to pretty much pull back into its position carpet mats already been fitted very clean fit out as well they actually present really really well um, you got three seats here and three in the back, so it is an eight-seater vehicle. This middle seat can actually be completely taken out of the car if you want to use it as a spacious seven-seater. Um, easy access to the back, or you can just leave that in there. It is pretty handy to have that extra seat. Now, these seats can move forward and back, and it, they will also fold up if you wanted them to. So, that is going to pull it up there, and so you want to probably do it like this. Just to access the back, you'll pull it up. That'll pretty much go up straight. Um, and you can access the back row pretty easily if you did want, um, want to use that feature. And there is also armrests here 
and on the other side and you can pretty much do the same thing and these will move forward and back using your standard levers located at the bottom of the seat now to close it you can either pull the latch on the inside or you can pull the latch on the outside and it is going to close up like so now back to those little marks that i was pointing out there is again a bit of superficial scratching here on the black i don't know how well you can see it in the camera but it is there another one there and another one located there, but they are like hairline scratches. Can't really notice it too much unless you're right up next to it. Now that second rim, completely unmarked, no damage, very chromey, and got Kumo tires fitted on them with plenty of tread. Coming across to the tailgate of the vehicle, you've got the reflectors down the bottom, that genuine Kia tow bar already fitted onto the car for you. Great for camping, towing something light, maybe a dinghy or a boat. Um, reverse parking sensors which are color matched to the vehicle as well and also a reverse camera which is mounted just under the lip there now kia logo right in the middle there is a bit, a bit small scratch along there and underneath there so two pretty um, noticeable scratches um, when you're actually looking at it a high mounted roof spoiler with that brake light and rear wiper and washer and these also come with an automatic boot so pressing the button is going to open it up now there is carnival platinum logo there to say that it's not just your ordinary kia carnival Tow bar tongue is fitted, uh, just sitting in the boot there, so that it doesn't get stolen, uh, but that's there. And these back seats are also very easy to actually um, pull in and out. So you've got plenty of storage if you just wanted to utilize a full eight um, seater option, or you can drop them very easily. So first, what you want to do is uh, pull this. I mean, it says one and two, you can do it however you prefer. I like to do it this way. And then you just pull this up, it detaches itself, and then it'll click pretty much flat underneath. Now, like so. And it's just going to click in. Now the seatbelt is here. You can disconnect that seatbelt before closing it, which is probably a better option. Uh, but otherwise, you can just do it like so, and then pull. That needs to be locked in. Sorry, like so, and then pull this up, and that'll click in like that. So pretty nice setup in these cars. Very easy to actually use, um, and you know, very very user friendly. And your jacking tools for your spare wheel is located behind this little plastic compartment. Now the spare wheel is actually located under that door over there. So just under the vehicle is where your spare wheel will be. Um, and you've got two cup holders on either side for the driver and passenger. Now tether points are located on those, um, on the middle row seats over there. To close the boot, there is a small button here. You can just press that button and it's gonna close up. There is also scuff plating there just to protect the paintwork on the inside. Now, coming across to the back of the vehicle, that third rim presents in very good condition, no damage there, lots of tread on those tires. Now, there are a few little scratches along the actual vehicle, along the top here, like, probably a bush because it hasn't damaged the paint, but it's scuffed in there. It'll, this car will possibly go through the workshop again and get some touch-ups done. There seems to be a dent here in the back of the car, just here. Pretty, pretty minimal, but um, it is there. Just so you're aware, a couple dents, two, three there. This one's a little bit longer. Um, now, I, I'm gonna assume it's gonna go through the workshop and get these little things sorted, but uh, fuel filler cap is on the passenger side, which is the safe side. And like I said, that rim is in good nick. Now this door also, few minor scratches along the edges. Another one just at the top here. This one's probably the bigger one, but still not very noticeable considering it's just on the very uh, kind of angle of that door. These are also electric doors. They're gonna open up pretty easily and close just as easy. Passenger door is also very good condition. Seems to have gotten slight scuffing or damage just over here. Now, like I said, this is gonna go through the workshop. So these are gonna get um, buffed out and cleaned up before you actually get the vehicle and before it comes onto the yard. And that fourth and final rim, no damage whatsoever. So we've got three rims in very good condition, very minimal mark on one of them, lots of tread remaining on those tires and you've got a very nice Kia Carnival Platinum. So what we're gonna do is pop the hood and take a look inside inside the engine bay of the Kia Carnival and now you can see it, does, it is laid out pretty nicely quite a wide engine bay have your coolant and uh, washer and wiper fluid all on one side so you can top that up as you um, when you check on each other um, there is your battery terminals on the right uh, with your positive and negative and also your fuel um, sorry your fuse box located just above that now your engine oil dipstick and cap are located just behind the motor there but what we what you see in front of you is kia's 2.2 liter turbo diesel motor now this car does come fitted with a six speed automatic gearbox so lots of gears to shift through great for towing great for um, all your payload capabilities now this car is a five star and cap rating with six airbags plenty of safety for the passengers in the vehicle now this motor produces 147 kilowatts with 440 newton meters of torque so plenty of talking power for your towing needs 
This car has an 80 litre capacity fuel tank with, um, and it does run on diesel as mentioned and it does have a combined fuel consumption of 7.7 .7 litres per 100 or an average fuel distance of about 1039 kilometres off a full tank but that depends on how much weight you're going to be carrying around and whether you're actually going to be towing in the car as well. Now taking a look inside the Kia Carnival, very spacious vehicle, lots of room for the driver as well and plenty of buttons on the car but that is all because there's so many features and characteristics in this car but we will touch on everything it's quite simple so starting off on that driver's side door do get your full automatic windows now they are fully auto both up and down for both driver and passenger and you've got those really big windows in the back as well which are again full auto as well um, and you can control them from here or from the back now above that is your central locking button window lock controls and your side mirror toggles with a little button to actually fold your mirrors in if you want to do that inside the vehicle or just leave it in auto and when you actually lock the car these are going to fold in anyway above that you can see near the door handle there is one two and set now that is for the two different pre uh, seat presets you can have on the car so if two different people are driving the vehicle you can have two different settings um, based on what each other wants and you just tap that and the car is going to remember what the layout is and it's going to adjust it so cool little feature in this Kia now there is storage here and plenty of storage down here so a lot of room in the vehicle just next to that is your fuel release cap and up here above that on the dash is your stability control your lane departure warning a blind spot warning button and also your cluster illumination now if you need a bit of information as to what these are make sure you ask us when you inquire on the car Taking a look at the steering column on the left hand side, on the right hand side, sorry, is your left and right indicator with fog lamp controls and headlight controls. Now they do run an automatic headlight system, just put it in auto and the car's going to sense when it needs to turn the headlights on. And on the left hand side is your wipers and washers, both front and rear. Now the steering wheel is a very comfortable steering wheel. Up the top here is a wood grain finish and then on the sides is a leather finish. So very comfortable to uh, hold, doesn't get too hot and also feels quite light as well considering the size of the car. So on the right hand side at the very end is your cruise control settings. In the middle is your display options for your head unit. So pressing this is going to just uh, flick through the different displays. So you've got lane departure, your servicing intervals, your user settings such as your ambient lighting, um, sound, things like that and also your trip A, trip B. And down here is part of your adaptive cruise control system. Left hand side has your media control, so mode for the different options, seek, uh, volume and call and reject as well. Now this steering wheel does come in and out and also up and down so you can pretty much adjust it how you would like to. Hood release is located at the very bottom of the A-pillar. Coming over into the middle engine stop start button is located right in the middle there. Now this is a fully functional touchscreen head unit so you can either use the touchscreen feature or not. Yep, touchscreen feature. Um, so um, Stereo, as you can see, we are in the radio setting. Um, so AM, FM radio in the car and media obviously is not working because there's no extra media options connected, such as your Bluetooth connectivity, MP3, CD, whatever it might be. Um, you can utilize those options and use the touchscreen for that. All the hard buttons are located below um, for whatever you prefer. Now the car does also come with inbuilt navigation. So you can see we are at Kangen Drive in Berwick. Nice and clear map there for you. Below that is your tri-zone climate control. So driver and passenger have their own temperatures and also the passengers in the back can also have their own temperature settings. So you can pretty much control it all from this one if you sync up the whole system or you can have separate settings based on how what you prefer. Climate button there is going to bring up the display of your temperature settings and all the hard buttons are located underneath. Now there is a USB and auxiliary input located just at the bottom here and this cool little, uh, little roller kind of shutter with your two spring-loaded um, cup holders which do fold away quite neatly. Now the gear shifter is a very smooth, a soft leather gear shifter. If I bring this into reverse, you'll see that reverse camera and 360 camera system in the vehicle. So on the right, 360, on the left, your reverse. Now you can adjust the camera view to kind of suit what you want. So if I press that, it's going to be a specialized wide view. This is going to pull up the left side and the back. This is going to pull up the right side and the back and then this will pull up the 360 and the back. So depending on what you prefer, you can kind of select your own options. Now, if I bring it down into drive and flick it to the right, that it's gonna engage the sports shift system. So you can accelerate, uh, sorry, not accelerate, but increase a gear and go down a gear pretty much what, based on what you prefer. If you need a bit of extra torque up a hill, you can do that or just leave it in drive. The car's gonna do everything for you. Behind that, is your heated seats and cooling seats for both driver and passengers. So pressing this side is going to do heating and pressing this side is going to do cooling and that is for both seats here. Uh, behind that is your steering wheel warmer. So pressing that is going to actually heat up your steering wheel so cold mornings aren't going to be as cold anymore. 
there is an active eco mode parking sensors and a 360 camera button so pressing that will just turn on and off your 360 view depending on what you prefer now you've got this very generous um, center console armrest there are two cup holders at the back here as well now if i lift that up you can see there is a storage shelf here which you can slide forward and back now that has a USB input and a 12 volt socket in there and also a little compartment which you'll probably want to put your phone into when you actually plug it into the USB slot um, and you've got this little rail here which you can move forward and back, plenty of storage in the back and a shelf in the front. Now get the camera person to pan around, on the side of the driver's uh, passenger seat there are controls to actually move the seat forward and back so if the passengers at the back need a bit of room they can adjust it themselves without you having to reach over and play around with the electric seat controls on the other side compartment down here with the USB slot that will just slide out like so and like I said USB slot for additional charging lots of room in the back great condition on these seats and also your rear uh, AC control so the passengers in the back can also control it themselves temperatures fan and all the mode settings in there but Kia Carnival's are great cars there's lots of room in the cars as well and I mean all the way through the vehicle and very very well a kitted out car with lots and lots of um, features being the platinum model so what we're going to do now is jump outside and wrap up the video so much for watching the walk around video on this 2017 kia carnival platinum now i hope the video gave you a good representation as to the condition of the car as well as the phenomenal amount of features that you do get in this particular model now it's not a perfect car it is a used vehicle it does have a few little marks here and there which we are going to go through the effort of cleaning up for you as best as we can but the interior is very clean and the amount of features this is a great family vehicle if if this is what you want for a big family now if you do have any additional questions the number to dial is 9907055 just before i go though this car does qualify for our premium mechanical protection plan. Now what that will offer you is 5 years additional protection up to 200,000 kilometers and it is going to cover 181 electrical and mechanical components of this vehicle. Now it does also come with the added benefit of 10 years platinum roadside assistance nationwide. So there's a lot of value in this. If you plan on traveling with this vehicle, doing a bit of touring, make sure you ask us about this because there's going to be great value. Now with that, I would highly recommend you talk to us about our glass code and tinting packages. Now what that will do is get, uh, will be a one-time application of a coating on your paintwork. It's going to give you a lifetime warranty on the paintwork, make it a lot easier for you to clean and maintain, and it's going to protect it from all the harsh environmental factors such as bird droppings, bat droppings, oxidization, fading, rusting, peeling, all those things that can really contaminate the paint and stop it looking this good. Um, now that will also be packaged in with some tint. Now these are at an additional cost, however if you're using our in-house finance, would love to introduce you to our business managers, Julie and Mario, who show just how minimal diesel affect your repayments. Now lastly, but most importantly, make sure you jump on a Google, search up Barrick Mitsubishi and see what people have to say about us. With over 1,100 reviews and sitting at 4.8 stars, gives you the assurance as a buyer that you're dealing with the right people and the right kind of business for a good quality vehicle. Now, as I mentioned before, if you did have any additional questions, the number to dial is 9907055. My name is Nathan. Thank you so much for watching.